Hello, hello. Yes, hello to me, and hello to you. Hmm. Uh, you think I've been giving myself a more subtle enough hint here? Yeah, let's open all this crap up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, if I remember correctly, is melt this iron. We're going to do that by hooking this stuff up. But we need some cable to do that. So let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Oops. So last time, I do remember that I wanted to have a bit of a story time, but um, didn't really have time to do it or didn't really think about it. And that was to tell the story about the first job that I uh, that I ever had. And that was working for a guy that owned vending machines. And not just any kind of vending machines. These vending machines um, rented videos. So you have this big old vending machine. I think I'm going to stop there for a moment. That had great big elevators on it, slow moving elevators that dispensed and um, took in um, videos. And, oh, I don't remember how old I was at the time. I wasn't very old. Mm. Uh, what's right there? Oh, yes. The um, uh, the uh, heavy watt cable is right there. So we can't we can't route it that way. So we'll have to route it this way. And uh, the machines themselves were very old. They were like... Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, the machines are from the 70s. And the clock speed, the speed at which... The board communicated with the peripherals... Um, was... 8? Eight, 8 hertz? Not 8 kilohertz, 8 hertz. Like 8... Uh, eight bits per second, and, and that was it. That's all. That's all the bandwidth you had to play with to tell the elevator to move up and down and um, communicate with the uh, with the um, the main board. Now the main board was fifty or sixty hertz, so fifty or sixty bits per um, bytes per second. Um, now. <laughs> Some people might be immediately saying, "How come you can't remember that?" Well, because I don't, re I don't really remember what frequency our power grid operates at, and that was the clock frequency. It was the frequency of the power grid. The um, the uh, the the onboard computer was was synced to um, um, just the, the how how fast the AC vibrated. And they weren't new, they were, they were from the 70s, but there was also no product support from the company, almost none. And um, I guess he got these, these boards at auction or something, and they had blown circuit paths that we had to repair with uh, um, just thin wire. And, um, oh god, everything was just old. Like, that's it. Okay, that'll be the last one here. And this doesn't need to be on right, right now. Um, so that was basically life, uh, for a while. Working there was this this weird old guy fixing vending machines that used a version of something. It wasn't ASM, but it was probably a compiler that went to that um, translated everything to ASM. Uh, I guess back here would be good. 
get back here is good. Uh, repairing these, uh, and I didn't just do the electronics in the thing, I also had to do uh, the hardware. We all had to do the hardware. There was two of us working there, plus him, who didn't re he didn't really know what he was doing when it came to um, the computer side of things, the processor side of things. He was more uh, relying on us for that kind of stuff. Kind of hard to think about. There we go. So this can't go anywhere here. We're going to put this out here. And I don't know what the boards did before they got to this into this guy's possession. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't running um, video. Uh, it wasn't running a video uh, rental place. So we had to recode all of the all of the vending machines. Which, wow, uh, uh, Candice, you you fell over. Did were you on the sauce here? There you go, Candice. Uh, you thought I forgot about that one, huh? Um, so we had to recode them to be able to accept these these um, these video. Um, these VHS tapes it wasn't DVD; it was VHS. I'm, um, I guess, now there's like Red, Redbox that rents uh, DVDs in in a lot of places. Uh, we also had to program the database to be able to get, um, to match uh, uh, customer records and tapes, and there was also porn tapes in there, so we had to have. We had to have a special um, category for those that that checked dates and uh, birth dates and things like that, so they wouldn't um, they wouldn't dispense to someone who like didn't want them to dispense to them. Okay, this one is going to be the active vent outside. Let's turn that to the on switch. That's the wrong one. And that's the active vent outside. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, so this would have to be the same active vent over here. So right beside it would be the airlock. External airlock. There, and we want the mode select. There we go. And this should be able to be turned on now. No, it can't because I need to reset the arc furnace. Arc furnace. There we go. Um, so that's what I did over the course of, I think it was over a summer that I did this. And we want to intake some. I'll switch that. That is not working. Do is there any other active vents? This one is on, isn't it? Yeah. And now it should be set to off. Oh, it's cooling. That's what the problem is. Uh, but there, it's it's ingested, so that's fine. That's what we need to do. Um. Yeah, so that was the first thing we had to do. We had to get the we had to get the boards talking. We had to get the boards talking to the peripherals and the peripherals to move the elevator up and down. Um, and we'd have to send um, basically bit strings to the uh, uh, to the elevators to get them move a certain number of spaces. And the uh, there was little 
um, leaf switches inside that every time the um, every time the elevator moved past a um, a particular um, item, a particular uh, VHS, you would get a pulse, and the elevators couldn't control the pulses themselves. So basically, you, you had to send a bit string that said roll in this direction. And the pulse would come back to the board, and you count the pulses, and then as soon as you got to the pulse number that you wanted, you had to stop and move the move the um, elevator back a certain number of seconds, because these elevators weren't designed for the cabinets that they were in. A certain number of milliseconds, sorry. So that the tape would be lined up. And that never Hydration worked. Critical. And that never worked. Uh, as expected, because... Oxygen critical. Light on. Uh, that never worked as expected, because the, um... Uh, the elevators wouldn't all run at the same speed, because they were old. So... Uh, some would be slow, some would be fast, and... You had to compensate for all of the uh, um, all of the elevators. Sometimes we had to put in custom um, timers. For it was a mess. It was a mess. On top of that, the change machine that was in that was in the um, uh, that was in the vending machines were new. So the new machine the 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 new machine had to talk with to the old machine. Uh, let's get out of here. Um, which made was was made a little bit easier because the uh, the um, uh, the change machine was was built to be uh, backward compliant. Let's get some air in here. Air tank critical. So it can it could communicate at the fifty or sixty hertz or whatever the hell it was. Um, uh, with the old, uh, with the old main board. Oh, that's why. Uh, let's hope this is still hot. I think it's still hot. Oh yeah, it's still pretty hot. But that was pretty much the only saving grace was that the uh, get let me out that the uh, the the main board could uh, the um, the change machine was new and we didn't need to screw around with that in any in any real way that we just had to send a signal to the change machine to say this is how much uh, cash we want put in for this thing and it would count the cash and then send a um, a mount good signal back to the board. And there wasn't a whole lot of programming being done either. It wasn't like um, we had to come up with the whole interface or anything like that. And I mean, the interface is, was just a button. Like, it's not basically a button. It, it was a button. That was it. That was, that was the extent of the interface. Uh, now, where am I going to put the switches for this? Um, okay, let's make another switch. Another two switches, because we're going to have to build... Um, do I need another two switches? No, we'll just build one, because I'm going to replace this with an advanced furnace at some point. And then we'll have two little dials to play with. So this one, let's just put it right here, so we know that it's for the um, for the furnace. And all of that was already um, that was already built into the to the control board. It. It could uh, take input from the um, from all the buttons and everything like that. We didn't need to to code the buttons. They were they were there. And 
now we need the volume pump. Which starts with a V, there we go. And we need the on state. And we need to turn it on. Okay, stop. Dispense. There we go, now we got steel. And I think we needed the steel up there, but let's just put it down here for now. And let's get out there and put it, uh, change it around before we lose all of our nice warm air. I think I'm going to turn off the, um, the safe mode and the vac mode for this airlock, because I don't really need it in uh, this particular playthrough. I also like that it doesn't stall. I don't like that it stalls at first. There seems to be a relationship uh, with these vents that if you set the vent pressure to be more than 200 uh, kilopascals beyond its current pressure, it will um, uh, it will it will pump very slowly. So I might. I might design it to um, ramp up its pressure rating, ramp up its set pressure. And I can leave that on. I can shut that off from the inside. Now that we have more switches. Uh, what just happened? Uh, I guess we had a mode switch for there for a second. Okay. That should, that should be done. Okay. We need the volume pump. On. And it should be set to 1. There we go. And once that's empty, we can turn it off. <clears throat> oh, and we need to set these ones. So this one is going to be the landing pad. And this one will be the vending machine. On. And then we'll turn both of those on. And both are set to zero. And this one is set to zero. But let's see if we have any gas traders. Um, we do, but I might not be able to get him, so let's just take a quick look. Yeah, he's too far away. Okay, let's continue on here, and uh, we want the tool printer. So we will grab the appropriate thing with blobbers with a tool printer
And I needed insulated pipe for something. I was going to make insulated pipe, but I can't remember for what. What did I need insulated pipe for? Hunger caution. Crap. Waste tank caution. Oxygen critical. Oh, no. I thought for a second there uh, we had enough. Enough O2 just to just to breathe, but we don't. Um, and I screwed this up and put everything on the floor like a dummy. So obviously I'm going to need a sorter uh, that will say anything that's an ore, spit it out. Or anything that's an ore, go go back into the system and recycle. And uh, I'm going to need valves to change um, where the injection point is going to be. Which, um, which one of these things is going to take the injection. And I need a, um, a place to dump all of the things in. Okay, so for you, my friend, I want the sensor card. Sensor card. And I'm also going to have to find this. Remove that. Oh, I thought I needed steel. I needed iron. Oh, what did I need the steel for then? The upgrades. Oh. Oh, dummy, dummy, dummy. <clears throat> and to be perfectly honest, at the time I was... I was really terrible at what I was doing. It took me a super long time to get anything coded. Okay, I'm gonna spit you all back down here. And I want the uh, pipe bender mod. There we go. But it was fun. It was an interesting thing to do. Perfect. And then I will need the auto lathe mod. Auto lathe mod. Uh, you've fallen over again, Candace. Here, let me let me pick you back up. I don't know why you want to use the computer. It's not fun or anything. Um, now let's turn the hydraulic. Printer control hydraulic uh, hydro tray controller off. We still got plenty of hours on the potatoes, and my only concern with the potatoes is that they'll go bad and I won't be able to plant them. Although I guess I could plant four right now, but then I'd have to wait for them to mature. So let's do that. Let's put four in right now. Turn the machine on. Okay, it'll turn on momentarily. And that way, if I do lose some, I'm not going to lose a lot. Okay, here's the printer mod. Ha 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 ha. We're fully upgraded. Oh my god, we're fully upgraded. <laughs> Hmm, how am I going to pull you out of there? I guess I'll just put a face on the front. That's not where that's going to live, but that's where that's living right now.
and then we'll have the we'll have the 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 knobbies that we can move around. Uh oh. Okay, and we got this one. Dunsey Dunsey. Now, do I have the plant card? Network tracker. No, I don't have the plant card. And we'll probably need another um, storage locker because this one is full. Although, I think we're going to sell these liquid. Uh, these liquid connectors here. And this one we are going to remove and break you down for now because oh, let's just make absolutely sure there's no water in there. Yep, there's no water in there. Cool. Put you away. And we'll move this over here. Because we need the plant card. Uh, plant analyzer card. There we go. And this thing we're going to pick up because we don't need it there anymore. No. That's uh, annoying. And we are going to sell this one as well. And we'll need uh, this pipe and this pipe. What is this? I think that's copper. Now, do we have any blue pipe over here? Turn you off for now. No, and I don't really want to keep it. Uh, throw that over there. Thank you. I'm going to have to make a chip for this to uh, uh, check to see how much... Check to see if there's anything in here and turn itself on and off uh, on that basis. Okay, now, why aren't you coming on for any length of time? Growth efficiency is down. So let's Light turn on. you on and turn you on and let's just try to get you to grow. Is there something in here you don't like? No, there's nothing in here that you don't seem to like. Okay, 68 efficiency one is the lowest one, so we're going to cater to it. Uh, and which one's the 68 efficiency? Well, let's make let's make a um, an LED. And I guess we'll put it on this side. We'll need one of these. Not you. You. Power low. Oops. Uh. There we go. We'll just use a little tiny guy right there. Sweet. 
super. Since I'm standing here. Air tank critical. I'll get this moving in here. And it is super not doing well for some reason. Okay, so we need to turn that off. And we'll turn this on while I wait while we while we set this. Did I not give these devices names? LED display. Gas sensor, air, airco display. Okay, that's the right one. Grow light. Okay, why are you showing me a zero? Is there something in the atmosphere? No. Hydration critical. And 36 degrees shouldn't be enough to really piss it off. It should be fine until like 50 degrees. And it should have water. Yeah, okay, it's getting water from the... Uh, from the thing. It's to tell it that there's water in there. Critical. So, what is wrong with this thing? Hydro, import. Uh, gas sensor, air code sensor. Okay, let's change the grow. The off display will force it to stay on for 10 seconds, so that should be 20 ticks. And I don't know which slot that is, so let's just do that. Okay, where is... Grow efficiency, last grow efficiency. Export. Light on. Maybe it's just uh, 
I just don't like the fact that it's not giving me a number. Do I have the configuration one? No, let's let's print out the configuration um, card. Oh, I need iron. Because that could be a uh, that could be rounding. Although it should round up. Oh, it looks like you were hiding something. There we go. That's not telling me anything. Go away. seconds. Yeah, growth efficiency is crashing. And if it doesn't stay on this time, I'm just going to take it over and turn it on. Hydroponic station, hydroponic station, small display. Okay, you're done. Something's wrong with you. Let's edit. And I'm going to grab my hydro code. Hydro controller. Copy, paste. There we go. We'll set this to a 20 seconds again. Export, export. Okay, there we go. Now it's displaying, at least. That's... No, I don't want to turn you off. Okay, which one's 55? That one is 55. That one is 60. That one is 48. And that one is 47. So it is looking at the lowest one. No, it's not. 40, 46 is the lowest one. Uh, let's change the slot number. It is probably going to be slot 2, because it's kitty-cornered to 0, I think. And now it should tell me 45. 50, 58, 45, 45. Okay, that's fine. All that's fine. So I wonder why it wasn't working. It must have been something to do that on load. Uh, it didn't completely load the code, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's crashing fast. Come on, you gotta get back on. Okay, now I have to override you before I completely lose it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave you on for a while. Then I'll turn the code back on because... Yeah, I don't want to lose the... Uh... Sorry, Candace. Let's put you back up here.
Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Hines. Lieutenant Hines. Sorry. Um... Is there anything else that I need to print out from the electronics printer before I move on? Can I make some more large batteries right now? Yes, I can. How many can I make? Five. Well, let's make all five. And let's hook up this this big charger. Oops. That's fine. No. Don't be a dick. There you go. Hateful person. There. really getting going now. So this will be like that, and we only need one more. Because we don't have enough room for another one. So this is no longer needed. Although I should probably... Nah, that doesn't matter, because... Um, I still have the big battery to swap out, and I don't really need a little battery anymore. Okay, are you are you going up at all? Oh, I don't know if you're going up because I shut the I shut the uh, the controller off. So you're at. 34 now. Are you really at 34? Temperature efficiency is, is a little off. It's not super ideal conditions. Oh, it's still crashing. Okay, you know what? Just just let the controller do its job. Oh, it's still crashing. Because if I try to manage them manually, I never do it right. Okay, so I've got a few shoots in my hand. Let's connect this up. So, you here, and you here. And I can't... I can't change that manually anymore. So, let's move it... over here so that I can change it and we need the yellow pipe perfect did you oh man just stick around a little while longer. Okay, they are they're growing a little bit, but I think I'm going to lose that crop. That's what I think. And then I need to run some wire. Okay, there we go. And 
And let's take one more look at the atmosphere. There's lots of carbon dioxide, so it shouldn't be complaining about that. The temperature is high and climbing. So let's go find some... Okay, let's do that. And I'm going to steal some... Uh, don't need you. Uh, you've got nowhere to go right now, so we'll keep you for a while. And I'm going to steal some shoots. This one is fine. And I'm going to steal these shoots. Just so that we can we can put them in on the other side, outside. I'm also going to oxygen critical. Fill up my hydrometer. Oh, it went up a little bit for a second. Okay, let's go outside. We'll... We'll think about that later. We'll turn off that. Okay. Let's just... Oh, and I want to reset... Um... Where's the mode selector? Mode selector, import... And I want the stop rooms to be zero because I just want to cycle. I don't want to. I don't want to to stop, for lack of a better word, because that's the word I'm looking for. Does this have a battery in it? No, no battery here. I'm getting dangerously low on my carbon filters. Jesus, jumping Christ, is this faster? And I think it's also taking more resources per chunk. I'm not 100% certain on that, but it feels like it. Oh, I want Jay, not Al. Light on. Where's the base? There it is. Jesus, was that quicker. Jesus, was that quicker. Okay, let's get on this. Uh, which means I paused the recording. Jesus, was that quick. And there we go. We're loaded up to the top. We'll get back into the base here. Oh, look at that. It popped right out for me. Cool. So, the very first thing I will need is some... Uh, filters, because I am super low on filters. We'll pull that out for now. So that I can get... Some carbon filters. 
What do I need for the heavy filter? Steel, invar, and stylite. Ugh. I don't want to waste it on that. Okay, let's get a few carbon filters. This will be the last one. Thank you. And we'll dispose of the rest of them. There we go. Now, I could put filters in there for, like, nitrogen and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's just make sure that this is pulling all of that air out of there. It seems like it is. And this should be a vacuum, but I can't read the vacuum. Okay, it is trying to force its way down. And these these plants are far dead. Ah, oh, man. So, let's make a little more shoots. Oh, finally they're recovering. Oh, it had to come right down to the wire, too, you bastard. Oh, and it started recovering right as it went down to 37 degrees. Hmm, maybe that has something to do with it. Keep going with some basic shoots. Okay, so, now all of our batteries are charged here. Let's put a battery in the... Uh, headlight, the um, sensor lens, and we will replace the battery on the headlight, and the we'll put a big battery in the heavy drill, and a big battery in the welder, and we are out of batteries and stuff. And we'll make more later. And at the moment, we're at 36 degrees and falling. I think we're back on the mend again. We were um, suffering for a little while, but... The plants are recovering. They're at... Uh, 17.3 now. So, I think we're in good shape. Perhaps. Maybe. Kinda. A little. Just looking around. So, once this is... Okay, that is done. Once this is done... What I'm going to have to do is get out of here. Is going to take this out and I'm going to put a see-through one here. A windowed one. So that I can see it going in. And then this one will have to be a, uh, a joiner. Oh, that's the wrong button. Where's spin? Ah, that's fine. Oh, no, wait a minute. If I do that, then the outlet's going to fall in there. Okay, we will put that... 
I don't know which button is to rotate. Okay, I know what this button is. There we go. And we'll put a windowed shoot. Right here. Uh, but if I do that, then I can't see that damn one. Okay, that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put the, the inlet for... Hydration critical. I'm wondering if I can if I can still oxygen critical. If I can still throw things in there. Okay, it looks like I'm back to being stable. Uh, for my uh, my oxygen level. So there we go. Oh no, let's. Let's switch this over here. We will turn this down. Back to 75. Stick that in there. Stick that in there. And throw you back on the floor right here. Light on. Perfect. Now, let's see if I can throw that works. Perfect. And this can go back on over here. On the back. Uh, you can get turned off. Actually, you're going to need to be turned back on in like half a second. Because I need more shoots. I think I'm going to make uh, the rest of them windowed. And then we need a corner piece. that. And that will be the last one for now. So, that will go in there, that'll go down there, that'll be fine. Oh, and we need to reconnect that. There we go. And eventually, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put, like, a sensor in there so that it won't turn on unless that's on. There. Perfect. There we go. Look at how good of a shape we're in. Look at that. And like in no time, uh, we'll be able to expand this way. Actually, we probably should expand that way now because we are already at the point where our pressure level is above um, that which the, the plants will be super comfortable in. They're still going up, but that looks like it was lower than it was a minute ago. So, do we have any... Okay, we got frames, so we're going to need much, much more frames than that. And I think we're moving on to steel frames, but... I guess it doesn't super matter which one we use. Okay, and then we'll go outside and we'll try to... Let's see, how many are we going to need? We're going to need one, two, three, four, eight. Eight. Nine, ten. And then we can reuse that one. 
But we may not have... We definitely don't have enough frames for most of them. We have enough frames for, for those five. Okay, we do have enough frames. Okay, probably. Air tag critical. Okay, we're going to need uh, you. And we're going to shut off the light. And we're going to put our lid on. And we're going to cycle the airlock. Hunger can wait a minute. Because we are... Doing Satan's good work here. So let's put this over here for now. And we'll put this one over here. And we're just missing one. Which is unfortunate. And there isn't... I don't want to start pulling my Wait, stuff off. Awesome. Because we really don't know what we're doing. Oh, and we can put this down here. And thank you. Okay. Uh, now what we need more than anything else is a crypto chamber. And which one makes a crypto chamber? Crypto tube is a hydraulic part pipe vendor, so we might have everything for that. Crypto tube. Oh, we need silver! Didn't we just pick up silver? Iron, silver. Yes! Lights. Camera. Action. So we are going to sell all of these little batteries here. And I think we might keep one. Let's see if we can't kitty corner that in there. We probably can if we first put one down. And then another one right here. Let's run in that place. No. We can't put it in um, from inside, so that's fine. And our crypto casket is done. Crypto casket, whatever it's called. Now, do I want a lay down or a stand up one? Not back here. Maybe back here, but I need to power it. So, right here. No, that's where I'm going to put the... Back there is the only place. So, I'm going to grab in here. I'm going to put it as far back as I can. Without going right inside the wall. Even though we are right inside the wall. What do I need? Need iron sheets. We need glass sheets. Let me through. Glass sheets. Okay, and we need to power it. So I'm just going to power it by sneaking it around the corner here. Oh, you are getting on my nerves, lady.
I don't know which way that's turned, so let's just do this and this. Okay. And I will also need to pipe some gas in there. Does that have a bottom to it? Yep, that has a bottom. I'm going to use um, this pipe just in case. Damn it. Okay. Um, is it easier to dismantle that or go outside? Probably easier to dismantle this. Need a screwdriver. And we need an angle iron, angle grainer. Okay, now I'm probably going to be able to get this from the top. Yes, I am. Uh, now I'm going to do this for now. And then that. don't need this anymore. We need one of these. So that'll get me oxygen into that, into there. Although I probably want pure oxygen. But I think at this point we can still iron sheet so we can still repair ourselves without having to have super cooled um, thingamabobbers. Okay, and Jeez, I was hungry. Oh, they're back up to 72%. Look at them go! Okay. So, we're gonna turn you on. Can I put myself in here? Will it help me at all? I think it's helping me some. So let's just stick around and see what happens. I think... I think we've done it! Oh, uh... Candace? Well, you're not Candace. You're an imposter! Uh, Candace, you seem to have been hit by a, a chunk of something here. You know? A chunk? Okay, so... We are in excellent, excellent shape now. Excellent. We're at 35 degrees, so it's still a little hot. Um, but I think we can easily take care of that by... Um... I know, that goes there. That goes there. And these two things will stay on me because I need to go... Um, I need to go fix that there. Now, I would do the... Um, this hard, the suit station, but I am not uh, sucking pure oxygen anywhere. Oh, I've got pure oxygen right there. And I'm going to pull off this. Oxygen turn off. Low. Turn off. Whoops. Turn off that. Uh, Miss Hines. Yes, Miss Hines. Y your station's at the computer. Thank you, Miss Hines. 
and the chunks of crap can go in there. Actually, let's put all the chunks of crap in there. Because now it's sealed off, they're not going to they're not going to cause any damage to anything. So, everything is upgraded. Um, we have a crypto sleep casket now. Oh, what we need is a spawn point because um, we haven't died yet, except for that one time that we did die. Um, that I don't recall. Mounted. What the hell's mounted? Okay, so auto lathe, and we could have done this a long time ago. Copper and iron. Light on. So let's put you back in here. Junction. Like so. And we're going to pipe you down to the bottom. And one window. There. So I guess if we have a valve here going, because I think there is a sideways valve, right? Not really. It's an overflow chute. This is a window junction flip flop splitter. So this is not one that we can control. Yeah, we need one that we can control. Overflow valve. No. Inlet. Okay, we'll have to look at the the electric ones. Because maybe the electric ones have, like, diverters that we can actually use. And I forgot what we're going to make out of this one. No, we're not going to make anything out of that one. This is going to redirect everything down here. And it is. And we need a spawn station. Spawn kit. Just temporarily remove that. Uh, the sorter is going to be easy because we'll just put the sh shorter... Shorter. The sorter, like, down here or something. Okay, we're gonna make the spawny spawn. And let's see if we have a... No, can't do that yet. Okay, do we have a gas trader? No, no gas trader. And we have a spawn point. Now this... I want one on the ground. This is perfect. Why is it offside? Why do you have to do that to me? Okay, where's the mounted one? Why are you offside? Fine, we're just gonna put you straight in the center. Unable to set spawn point. Uh, is there no spawn point in this game, or is this too close to something? In this style of game. Huh? This one's going to be a big battery. There we go. Come on, let me go. And I think we've had two storms since the last time I repaired. Why can't you set spawn point, you bastard? I think it's because of the... Um, Oh, was I was I looking use as unable to? 
Oh. I was reading unable. I was reading use as unable. This is what dyslexia does to you, friends. Okay, use as spawn point. I was expecting it to say something else, I guess. So, we now have um, a crypto clack casket, a spawn point. We could have had a spawn point a long time ago. It doesn't super matter. Um, we have... We're at 35 degrees, so that's not, that's not terrible. We have everything upgraded. Um, we are currently sitting at 450 iron, 26 gold, 28 copper. Did I make the chip? No, I did not make the chip. So let's make the chip. There we go. I will also have to figure out how I'm going to route this. That's the wrong one. Because I think... I think at least we need one space for a... Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I have it routed the wrong way. No, I have it routed the right way. Yeah, I have it routed the right way. Zero contents. Everything's up here. Okay. Yeah, I forgot it the right way. So, I need the sensor chip. Perfect. Just remove this for now. And this will help me target shit outside. Sensor chip. And we're going to have a um, mining backpack. Mining backpack. What's the difference? So the mining backpack has... 23 slots and the hard mining backpack has 27 slots so we're going for them for the hard mining backpack and then we're going to need mining belt 2 tool belt 2 and we'll chuck these things over here because we're gonna get rid of them These night vision goggles are kind of stupid. And I think that's all we want for now, isn't it? Oh, a, uh, a plant uh, sampler, but we're not going to use it, like, anytime soon. Let's make a terrain manipulator just to have it. And I think that's all we really need out of the, uh, out of the, uh, the tool printer right now, huh? Let's get a junction. And I think um, we'll just need a little bit of, for the pipe bender so that we can get some uh, some ground. But I, I think I think that's it, huh? Well, we we definitely need more batteries and stuff. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to uh, route this to the. That'll come out like that, up like that. Okay. Like that. Uh, 
And I think, um, oh, I know what I wanted. I wanted a silo to put outside, but, like, that's not super important. So, I think we're going to stop here for now. Um, our lungs are a little messed up. But not completely messed up. We got a source of food. We're going to have to print out more um, trays and pipes and stuff like that. But that won't be a big deal. And we'll just probably put the trays in that way for now. Because this will be our long access corridor. I think. Yeah, probably. Um, we are, we need, we need some water, so I think we're going to call for another, um, ore trader, because the ice ore, oh, we got a gas trader. Uh, we're not going to get the gas trader because he's just going to give us hot water. So we're going to build the, um, uh, the starport over here, uh, first, and it is going to be over here. I'm uh, probably going to move this, but this is where the starport's going to be, right behind this wall. And we'll probably work on building that next time. Um, I am probably going to go out mining and not record it and um, grab as much, sh much shit as we can. That might mean I might have the silo built already. Nobody really needs to see how the silo is built because everybody knows how to build a silo. Um... I assume everybody knows how to build silo. We are going to repair... Okay, well, I should remember that I need to repair by putting that like that. And... Once we have a dick ton of... Uh, of resources, we might make a lot of alloys, as much alloys as we can, and uh, use up all of that hot... Nice hot gas out there. Uh, I think that's it. We'll just fix this up and we'll continue to expand and, and, and get as much uh, gas as we can. Um, and keep our temperature down. That's that's it. And I think once we reach, like, let's say 25 degrees, we will get, um, we'll build a cold tank outside and just start putting all of the uh, directing all the cold gas out there and just using that as a stabilizer. And... Oh, before I go, I'm going to stuff myself back in here. There you go. See you later.